This is reporting that Peter Sutcliffe died of COVID suspected disease and me and Live Free was at the prison Franklin only yesterday reporting about this animal this is Richard McCann his mother was a vic victim to Peter Sutcliffe I cannot believe that this has happened and we have only just finished doing our HMP Franklin where we went and asked about this man Peter Sutcliffe who I fed as an hospital orderly in HMP Armley January 1981 when he was remanded for psychological reports a member of staff a psychological nurse was supposed to observe the Ripper and write in a book at what he was doing at particular times of the day. But he was always in the office. So who wrote in the book? Yes, people, me, Arthur Taylor and other orderlies that were down there at that time. So that psychologist made his decision to send Peter Sutcliffe back to court and nut him off for the rest of his life on what he thought was his nurse's writing in that book. But it wasn't, was it? It was mine. Which does what? It makes the Ripper's case and lots of others that were in at that time unsafe it is a point of law that psych psychologist made his decision on what Ripper was suffering from i.e. schizophrenia and uh, an inmate's Reporting. I reported all this on my HMP Armley. So, as I said, that man was sent to jail on a convict's uh, reporting. What that member of staff was supposed to do, he was supposed to observe the Ripper and other people remanded for psychological reports uh, and write down in a book what they were doing at particular times of day. And that is because if you do suffer from paranoid schizophrenia then you have set patterns of behaviour depending on what form of schizophrenia you are suffering from. So what they do is they observe you through the spiral and write down exactly what you're doing at a particular time of day and then at the end of the week the taken in that book's taken into the psychologist and he says yes 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 he's doing this he's doing that my psychological nurse has been observing him 
but he hasn't, it's the Ardleys, i.e. mine. If the handwriting is checked in that book, January 1981, D1 Hospital, Armley Prison, where Peter Sutcliffe was, then that oh, they don't need my handwriting. All they need is that officer's handwriting. And it will prove what I am saying. That the signature he has put, saying that it was him that observed the Ripper at that time, and he was doing that. It wasn't him. It was me. Arthur Taylor. Convict. Uh, I'm not proud I've been a convict and yes I have been in a few jails myself I'm not proud of it and I'm not ashamed of it I had to do what I had to do at the time to put food in my mouth and clothes on my back but these people have lifed people up and sent them to jail on stupid sentences on the say-so of an officer who they thought was writing in the book wasn't doing his job he was sat in the office chatting smoking drinking cans they even used to bring Audley's cans in and they gave us lighters. It was our job to give these people a light, because there wasn't allowed lighters. Uh, there wasn't allowed razors. They had to be observed shaving on the landing. It was my job to put the water out for them and give them the razor, then stand there and watch them shave. It was also my job where some of the patients had to have five officers to unlock. Now, I would stand facing the door with a screw either side of me at front, two behind me. One of the screws that were going to unlock the door would then spy through the spiral and whoever it was, whether it be the Ripper or anybody else, would be told to sit down on the chair which would be at the far end of the cell. As the door was opened, I would step in and to my left would be the inmate's table. I had to just turn around and put the meal whatever it was, and a drink, on uh, their table. And if they moved to stand up or come forward in any way, my orders was to step with my back to the wall and then the screws would come steaming in, dive on them, twist them up, strip them off, Drag them out, spread, spread eagled, arms up, twisted up, legs twisted up. Then they'd throw them into a strip cell where they'd be given like a, a dressing gown. But it was made out of the same material that all British mailbags are sewn out of. That plastic, plasticky stuff. That was the only clothing they had in a strip cell. No mattress, just a wooden bunk on the floor. Then there could be in the day, depending on screws, uh, whether they liked them that day or not. And in winters, them cells are absolutely freezing in them Victorian nicks. Now, that's, that's just uh, 
one example of what went off in that uh, hospital wing at that time. I have got other audits to do that are to do with other sentences which I served at this prison and you will be hearing about them in due course.